Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a really cool fabric bowl with no sewing, just some Mod Podge and fabric. I used some old clothing, um, but you can use pretty much any light to medium weight fabric. The first thing you're going to do is cut your fabric into squares. Um, I do recommend that you cut your, sm your squares smaller than what I did. Um, they don't have to be perfect, but um, the squares are good. And then um, using some Mod Podge, I am just going to cover um, a balloon that I blew up and then I taped it into um, a styrofoam bowl just to kind of hold it in place. And I'm going to coat the balloon about halfway down with the Mod Podge. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get um, a layer of the Mod Podge on there. The size of your balloon um, that you blow up can dictate the size of the bowl. Um, but you can also size it at the end um, when you cut off um, the raw edges. Do remember to cover your work surface um, as it is a glue and um, if you want to wear gloves uh, go ahead and feel free to do so. Mod Podge comes off really easily with soap and water so I wasn't worried about that. Once you have um, your balloon coated with a layer of the Mod Podge you're going to start taking your fabric squares and you want to put the right side of the fabric down towards the balloon um, for your entire first layer that you put down. Um, that way the right side of the fabric um, will show on the inside of the bowl. So you're basically using the same kind of um, paper mache techniques that you might have used as a kid. Um, you're just going to lay your squares um, kind of overlapping in different directions um, on your balloon and uh, making sure that that first layer is right side down so the wrong side is what should be facing you so just randomly put your squares down and um, once you have all your squares then you will coat it with another layer of Mod Podge and um, you want to make sure that you get underneath um, the fabrics that are overlapping on the edges and give a nice good coating. Um, this is what's going to provide the stiffness for your bowl. The amount of layers that you do is going to be up to you. Um, thinner fabrics, I would suggest doing more layers. Um, you could even do up to eight, nine, ten layers of, of really thin fabric. I did about four to six layers of this. Um, this was just like a polyester, kind of a medium weight fabric. Um, I'm going to be doing some more bowls soon, probably out of a cotton material, to see um, how they looked. Because um, all three bowls I made were in like a polyester. They were like um, old dresses. But you just want to make sure that you give nice even coat of um, Mod Podge covering um, everything. And the, the very bottom edge, it doesn't really matter um, how it looks. That part you're going to cut off at the end when you even up your bowl. Um, you just want to make sure that um, you do get Mod Podge all the way down. If you want a shallow bowl, then um, you really only need to do maybe the top quarter or third of your balloon. If you want a really deep bowl, then you can go farther down. After you put the first layer on, um, it really doesn't matter whether you put your fabric right side up or wrong side up um, until the very last layer. Once you put your last layer on, it needs to be right side facing you. That way, when the bowl is finished, the right side of the fabric will both be on the inside and the outside of the bowl.
As you can see here, I did end up cutting my squares um, into smaller shapes. I think I should have probably done even smaller. There were some puckers and things um, that were still showing. Um, but I wouldn't make them too terribly small because you do need the strength of the fabric overlapping. So probably around a three inch to four inch square would be about the right size. Once you put your last layer of um, fabric on, right side facing you, then you'll want to do another coat of Mod Podge um, to just coat everything down and make sure that last coat is a, a nice, um, nice thick coat and you cover all the different edges and everything. I did let mine dry for 24 hours. Um, the more layers you do, the longer it, it's going to need to dry. So after 24 hours, I removed the balloon from the bowl and then removed the balloon from the fabric bowl and it just came right out. And then I just took a pair of scissors and just trimmed off um, that wonky kind of edge around the top. I just kind of eyeballed mine, but you could definitely measure it if you wanted a more precise look. Um, or even if you really like the way that wonky edge looks, then hey, keep it on. Um, but if you do decide that you want a flatter bowl or something, you can cut more off at this point too. After I cut it off and had the got the bowl the way I wanted it, I let it dry for another 24 hours um, before I put anything in it. And just remember, this is not food safe, um, so don't put food inside of it. Um, but I really love the way these turned out, 